ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ್ವಂ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದಸಮಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಶ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚಮ ದೇವಿಂಗ್ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಯ ಧೈರ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದ ಮನಿಚ್ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋದೂಷ ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಠಾಗರ ಸಾರಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕೃಪಾಂಕರುಷ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆದಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾಸ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನಕ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೋ ಕನಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ್ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕವಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭುತಾರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನು ನರಾಣ 
गंगातरंगरमणीयजटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषितवाहुराग नारायणो प्रियमनंगमदापहारम बरानसि पुरवति भजविशनाथम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे वागी सजुष बदने लक्ष्मी जस च बक्षसी जस्यास्ते संगी त्वम निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे अमित पूर्ण कृमि कीट संकुले स्वभाव दुर्गंध विनिंदितांतरे कले वरे मुत्रे पुरीश भावित रमंत मूरा विरमंत पंडिता अमित पूर्ण कृमि कीट संकुले स्वभाव दुर्गंध विनिंदितांतरे कले वरे मुत्रे पुरीश भावित रमंत मूरा विरमंत पंडिता गौरियो गोष्ठीपति गौरियो गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन द वे ऑफ भजन दोज हु आर विवर्थ दैट काइंड ऑफ विवर्थ इज कमिंग दैट इन असिद्ध अवस्था दैट दे नॉट वी आर थिंकिंग दैट वी आर ऑन द सिद्ध प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज वेरी मच डेंजरस टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज द मोस्ट डेंजरस पॉइंट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड कौड़े गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट इन बॉन्डेड स्टेट वी आर थिंकिंग दैट वी आर एट द सिद्ध प्लेटफॉर्म दैट दैट इज एक्चुअली ऑपोजिट टू भजन इन दिस देर कैन बी अ वेरी डेंजरस सिचुएशन कैन अराइज दोज पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली विदाउट एनी अनुगत्य दे आर हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन डेफिनेटली the some person actually asking to propad and is asking question to propad that uh, that kind of independence which we have we have to quit that that it is already there in the shastras sometimes we have heard this point that by taking ashray means to get, get anugatya to do an ashray means to do anugatya those who haven't taken any ashray for him ashray anugatya is not at all possible and in the shastras it is already written that narottam das thakur ji has written this point that those who have taken ashray and are doing bhajan under the guy under anugatya guru anugatya definitely they gonna get out of bonded state and those who will be doing bhajan like that that just in order to show themselves and uh, and under their anugatya those who are actually their, their followers definitely all will go to hell krishna nahi ta ar sab more akaro koi karan nahi there is actually no reason they but they will die may uh, without any reason they will die what to do in that you can't do anything prabhupad has just given one answer regarding this that to in order to quit your independence it is very much necessary and important definitely you have to do if any person if any person that he is a so called uh, he is a so called devotee those who have just uh, just making one uh, dictating disadvantage of taking to propad he is just written one letter to propad and in that letter it is written propad already written in that letter to that so called devotee he is not a devotee he is shakt he is a so called devotee to him he is propad actually writing to that so called devotee that that to you 
will that run other piece sunish bab you have already quit that you have already left the pari paripath pratipasna that path you have already left that and now what i can do for you what we can do for you now they who have already just uh, left this tranada pe sunij bhav and pratipad pratipashna pathway you already have left that and now you have already this uh, you have a separate pathway you have open for you so, so what i can do in that case for you i am actually just making one kind of uh, unhappiness i am very much unhappy inside my heart very sad i am just expressing myself my heart is very sad for you i can just express that because your independent bhav is already gone okay you just make your own independent life what to do prabhupad speaking that independent life is just like equivalent to beast prabhupad speaking those who are anugatya hin those are without without any anugatya that their life is more than their beast those those who are living without a nugatya their life is uh, like more than a beast why because those beast they cannot do up till this punch point they have some limit those uh, anugatya hin vyakti those who don't have any kind of uh, an anugatya what he can do you will just get a very much surprised to see what he can do in their life you will become very much surprised by seeing that anugatya hin vyakti that even a beast also he can't also uh, go up till that limit as compared to the anugatyahin person he can go up till that lower limit because anugatyahin he is a dambik person and he will be just going into hell that dambik people they don't have any kind of surrender process no anugatya so that's why those who are actually independent that independent person is anugatyahin that is he has no anugatya no surrender onto lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav and if he has come onto the pathway of pure bhakti if he has come onto the pathway of pure bhakti if he is becoming a, a dambik or is becoming an anugatyahin then what is the use of coming to this pathway what is the actual use of coming to this bhakti pathway there is will be no use of coming only i am just by am just uh, like a show bottle just showing to everything i have done so much puja for prabhupad and like this i have just given so much uh, nimantran to all the vaishnav giving bhandara to them what is the use of that bhagwan just to do puja of bhagwan and uh, and he is just disrespecting devotees because those who are actually full of false ego this is their actual symptom that even they will be disrespecting pure guru vaishnav also it is not a big thing for him it is a very small thing to do prabhupad always used to speak that bhakti in the pathway of bhakti he has already taken that pathway where he has just accepted that pathway of bhakti but still if he is anugatya in his dambik so what is the use he is just like a show bottle he is just by doing puja of bhagwan and he is just disrespecting the devotees of bhagwan in this uh, definitely they will be doing aparad onto lotus feet of the devotees and uh, by that aparad onto the lotus feet of devotees our bhajan will definitely be just going down and down our consciousness will fall down and our bhajan will get stopped it will not go ahead it will stop okay it is good but you sh- but your consciousness will fall that is not at all good you will just fall down and your consciousness will fall down and down day by day your for consciousness will not be becoming increase it will become decremental it will go down and down day by day just by doing aparad that what kind of consciousness you must have developed your level of deg- or degree of consciousness will fall down day by day if you will be doing aparad on the lotus feet of pure guru vishnu that all that will be the reason for all the kind of problems it is a very dangerous situation because those who are doing actually vaishnava aparad who are doing sadhu ninda those who are disrespecting sadhus and pure guru vaishnav they will definitely get punishment they will get a very dangerous situation in their life and and their age their age their opulence is just by external beauty beautifulness the, that everything etc will get destroyed in their life that just by disrespecting those pure guru vaishna all kind of uh, consciousness which they have developed everything will fall down and it will they will become decremental in their life their consciousness will fall down to such a level that they can't expect anything from that their age will get reduced 
by external beautifulness will definitely be destroyed he will be just be looking like a demon i'll i'll I, you come to me i'll give you a practical example the previous picture what he has and after doing aparad what is his face now how big, dangerous he is looking now he just like a demon he will become so age that yash that opulence is whatever opulence is you have gained in your life external opulence is that material opulence is that dharma that so called dharma you have just got in your life everything will get destroyed and all those uh, old old people they are actually giving you lot of blessings everything will get destroyed by just disrespecting pure guru vaishnav everything all the good qualities will get destroyed nothing will remain at all everything will get destroyed in this human life what is the actual uh, what is the actual meaning of human life what is the actual meaning of human life the only meaning of human life is just to that is the on to the pathway of param mangal that in order to get the actual mangal not to just disrespect to pure guru vaishnav not to just disremember not to disremember guru vaishnav and bhagwan this is not the actual pathway but all the time this kind of actually thing is getting reduced day by day in us when this kind of vichar is not coming in us that tranada vibhav that is the most that is the most dangerous and uh, we are the most r- rubbish persons in this whole life i am the most kapat vyakti and uh, like me a very small small uh, insect like jeev i am i am so much fallen this kind of vichar we are not at all getting inside our heart this kind of vichar is not at all coming in our life because this life is this kind of vichar is getting reduced in this vichar we are actually having some fault this kind of vichar we are not at all getting that in maya that lucrative offer of maya that lucrative offer different different kind of lucrative offers what maya is actually giving this they are actually attracting us there is actually attraction of maya all all the way and because of the attraction of this maya and the lucrative offers given by maya we are we are actually feeling attraction towards that and slowly steadily we are becoming that bogi that we are the doer this kind of uh, thing is coming inside our heart okay we will do this kind of uh, bhog uh, everyone is doing so we will also do we will also enjoy all maharaj uh, etc are also enjoying so we will also enjoy so this kind of uh, enjoying mood slowly steadily by the attraction of maya we will be for, uh, having that attraction inside our heart towards maya and slowly steadily what will happen that uh, we will be getting that enjoying mood inside our heart to just enjoy each and every matter so that kind of thing will definitely come that we will be having that i am a very big person big personality i am such a small shudra jiva this kind of bhav is not at all coming inside our heart up till what point that kind of uh, attraction towards maya i will be just getting away from that that is the main point how i can get away if in our life if we have this kind of uh, thing that kind of pravritti we have that we are a very big personality we are we don't have this kind of bhava coming inside us that i want to be a big personality that i will be a big personality in this life that kind of bhav if it is not at all coming inside our heart that i am something this false ego when this kind of pravritti if you have inside your heart up till that point tranada pe it is not at all uh, possible to get because no anugatya is there so how you can get uh, tranada you don't have anugatya na so how what to do even taking diksha also there is no use if you are in this whole material world that uh, just by doing the adipatya vistar if you have this kind of uh, reduction that you are nothing if this kind of uh, reduction process is coming inside of your heart that those who are pure guru vaishnav those who are very topmost sevak of bhagwan he is a deen heen fallen he will be just to consider himself he is the uh, will be considering he will be for the, to do the association of that uh, pure guru vaishnav is very much important 
like this kind of so much topmost humble attitude of that pure guru worship those who are eternal parshad of bhagwan to do their association is very much important up till that point in your life ahead that kind of false ego this kind of false ego definitely going to destroy completely before that it is not at all possible in each and every situation it will go away prabhupad always used to speak that if we are actually uh, if we are if some false ego person i will be taking diksha from him having so form so much false ego in him if i am taking a diksha from a very false egoistic person then i will also become a false egoistic egoistic person there is no use of taking diksha from him he will also fall down and i will also fall down from my bhajan so those who are pure guru vaishnav those who are actually eternal parshad of bhagwan those who are eternal parshad of bhagwan bhakti vinod thakur param puja va shirad shirdar ko swami pad keshav ko swami maharaj all those pure guru vaishnav we just need to just uh, bend our head onto their lotus feet we just have to sell our head onto the lotus feet it means to do the anugatya of them but uh, anugatya it is not at all possible for us i actually can show something to someone but i don't have anugatya i don't have any surrender towards them why because the persons are not understanding this point at all that swadhinata what is the actual meaning of swadhinata swadhinata what do you actually mean by swadhinata in the bengali harikatha i have already told now that bhagwan speaking to arjun that krishna arjun actually questioning to krishna that how we have to run our life what to do what not to do how we can understand that point how we can understand krishna that bhagwan krishna actually are speaking to answering to krishna to arjun what to do what not to do it is already according to the shastra praman what is written in rules and regulation of shastra you just need to do go according to that you just need to go according to the rules and regulations of shastra kuti kama charata no sa siddhi ma apnoti to siddhi to dur ki na siddhi is a very far distant thing shuk siddhi that shuk siddhi whatever you are actually expecting in your life you will just destroy everything in your life those who are actually not doing anugatya of shastra because those who are anugatya pers- anugatya hin persons they are just like beast or more than beast they are so much dangerous if that pure vaishnav some pure vaishnav those who are already pratishthit in seva and 100% they are pratishthit in seva that onto lotus feet of guru pure guru vaishnav bhagwan they are all the time pratishthit like this we do by serving this kind of pure guru vaishnav uh, uh, what kind of false ego is there inside our heart heart that kind of anarth will definitely going to destroy before that it is not at all possible and those who are if we are actually taking diksha from a false egoistic person then definitely that kind of false ego will definitely come inside our heart this is that natural process naturally it will come nobody can stop that at all if i am an i am fine like actually taking diksha to a false egoistic person then definitely be sure about this then inside our heart that false ego will also get produced it will take birth if like this uh, we will be just uh, be not taking the association of that pure guru vaishnav then apart from that no other pathway is open for us to just get uh, uh, away from this material world i was just discussing it uh, now in front of you each and every person he is not at all having faith in bhagwan and if he is having some faith in bhagwan he is just having very uh, half faith in bhagwan okay if he is there is there okay he is not there and not there some persons they are actually not at all having faith in bhagwan some people persons are there having half faith in bhagwan and they are just some people are they are taking bhagwan or they are not at all taking bhagwan and some persons are like those who are having 100% faith on bhagwan and according to the shastras in the vichar of shastras according to the vichar of shastras we just they are actually getting according to the shastra they are leading their life according to that that is good but in the shastras this kind of vichar is there that each and every pers- per person chaturmasya vrat is very much necessary and important it is must for all the devotees to follow and all for common people as well so 
चातुर्मस्य व्रत फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन इट इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू फॉलो चातुर्मस्य व्रत फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन इट्स वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट टू फॉलो इफ यू आर नॉट एट ऑल फॉलोइंग चातुर्मस्य व्रत then definitely that according to the rules and regulations of bhagwan you are actually going against them then definitely that kind of uh, vipatti or uh, obstruction will definitely come in the pathway of bhakti that kartik vrat chaturmasya vrat inside that it is coming chaturmasya vrat in that kartik vrat is also also there and if someone actually just respecting kartik vrat and not at all respecting chaturmasya then definitely it is a disrespect of uh, kartik vrat also because the name is chaturmasya the four months of vrat which you have to follow according to rules and regulation for each and every person it is very much important to follow for each and every person whether he is a smart whether he is a mayavadi whether he is a material ordinary person whosoever is is taking just eating sleeping drinking just like uh, cats and dogs is going like that for them also that kartik vrat and chaturmasya vrat to follow that it is very much important if he is not at all following then if he is not at all following then definitely it is written in the shastras that he he is just like a beast those who are without any rules and regulations वॉकिंग डेड बॉडी he is actually in a living condition he is just like a living dead body moving dead body it's already written in the shastras like that some persons they are actually thinking like this that we are actually in the rag marg why what 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 use that because chaturmasya is in vidhi marg chaturmasya vrat is in vidhi marg and rag marg for each and every one chaturmasya is very much important whether a person in uh, rag marg or vidhi marg what a whosoever person is there but for everyone chaturmasya vrat is necessary for jivas that that stool and urine bad that kind of bad acharan he is actually doing that kind of very rubbish and full of smell that kind of adarsh acharan they are following that bad acharan that it is just to make a, full of himself only and by not uh, following the chaturmasya rules and regulation it is very much important to follow the necessary rules and regulation of chaturmasya because in such chaturmasya vrat there are a lot of restrictions in that, that you don't need to take this you don't need to don't do, uh, it by like this you don't need to sleep up till this hours so everything is there prohibited in that so lot of restrictions are there that's why in order to follow chaturmasya vrat uh, some restrictions where well, some rules and regulations will be coming in your life some rules and regulation restrictions that kind of natural inclination you will be having and whatever written in the vedas upanishad whatever it is written in the shastras and whatever the whole shastra that actual vichar is there of the shastra what is that that in just to get rid of all the jivas from their bonded state that is the actual uh, vichar of all the shastras that the whole shastras the actual vichar is to just to get rid of the bondage of all the material jivas that all the jivas which are there the all these material jivas slowly steadily is of they have, we have to just get rid of their bonded state we have to just take it from the pravritti mark to the nivritti mark so that they can get pratishtit in atma dharma bhagavat dharma all the jivas and slowly steadily by they should go towards that that's why in order to just follow chaturmasya vrat that, that your natural inclination will come and by that uh, swabhav when your uh, manners will just get uh, uh, transformed then bhakti will definitely get inside your heart if you will be get the association of pure guru vaishnav and just by association of pure guru vaishnav slowly steadily your natural inclination dependent inclination will just get changed and in sadhu sang hari katha kirtan apart from that nothing is there हरिकथा कीर्तन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नथिंग इज देयर इन साधु संघ साधु संघ इज फुल ऑफ हरिकथा कीर्तन यू ऑलरेडी नो दिस ऑल
that in sadhu sang everything like this is going on that's why chaturmasya vrat uh, this is just one kind of uh, yeah one kind of uh, in bhagavad ji mahapuran you can see the story of naraji Ma- uh, naraji maharaj at that time that uh, just by the way of chaturma sevrat some pure guru vishnu had just came to the house of naraji maharaj and according to all the rules and regulations written in the shastra they are following that that what is to, what to do and what not to do in the chaturma sevrat they are following that and at the time of chaturma sevrat the naraji in the <coughs> in the childhood they have in his childhood life he has just got the association of those pure guru vishnu and uh, in the forward life that kind of uh, extreme consciousness naraji maharaj has just developed inside him it is already written naraji has uh, uh, himself told this point so whatever without any rules and regulation chatur masam nayana murkho jivan no bibit hoye ye this actually this actually this is just like a living dead body those who are not at all following chaturma sevrat they are just like a walking living dead body or nothing what to do lot of rules and regulations are there and with uh, we, we have already discussed this before as well i have already discussed this that for us we have to follow that chaturma sevrat is very much important and tithi that the tithi of chaturma sevrat also we just have to start the chaturma sevrat from that then like from shayana kadashi up till uthana kadashi and we just need to see when is shayana kadashi and from tithi tithi to tithi we have to follow the chaturma sevrat if uh, this kind of smart vichar in the normal calendar those of the smart calendar that uh, kartik vrat uh, when it will start from when it our our start our tithi will start from tithi to tithi we just need to start the vrat from that that chaturma sevrat and from shayana kachi tithi it is just getting commenced it just for our actual uh, uh, actual realization that chaturmasya chaturma sevrat we can also follow from purnima to purnima as well because we just need to shave our head that purnima is very much important to shave your head and in that lot of uh, guru varg and lot of vaishnav are uh, they actually used to observe chaturmasya from purnima to purnima and some devotees they are actually they are actually from ekadashi to ekachi they are actually uh, commencing their vrat they are actually commencing their vrat from ekachi to ekachi so both of the things are actually right that all the eating sleeping seeing walking there is all restriction in the chaturmasya vrat that eating sleeping studying sleeping speaking everything is actually restricted so all those restrictions actually it is there all restrictions we are actually just getting binded into that and these all restrictions are very good for us if some person actually thinking that this kind of independent bhav will definitely go then what will uh, remain in our life but this is not the actual thing for those who are it means that uh, for us that our independent like that liberty conception we have that our liberty conception what is there for us that swadhinata that is uh, definitely totally wrong that is totally wrong why because this uh, uh, independent bhav that apparent independence you are getting uh, in the fine form which you are getting that in a fine form you are getting this independent bhav then in our life this kind of liberty or independent bhav is there that is very much dangerous why why because this is not at all liberty whatever conception we are getting in our life that about liberty that is totally wrong that our liberty our liberty actually means that you have an understand what i am speaking our liberty what is our li- general conception that according to our sa- sadharan vichar normal vichar that our liberty that swadhinata 
that is actually one kind of bondage this is not at all swadhinata at all why because prabhupada actually speaking that in this material world just to become prabhu this kind of uh, desire what we have inside uh, in this material world this is cat this is actually called abhakti in this material world that we want to become prabhu in this material life that is called actually abhakti that we just want to become prabhu this kind of desire what we have this is actually abhakti this up till that kind of mastership we want to have in this material world that kind of kingship what we which we want in this life that ministership which we want everything is the cause of our material bondage or nothing else because for this all kind of prabhutva or mastership this is actually this is actually liberty is a far distant thing it will be just making us in the bonded state we will be getting more and more into the bonded condition by just following all this the ministership and all that is called actually adhinata it is not at all actual liberty that is opposite totally opposite so like this if we can see if we can do this kind of vichar that if we are doing this kind of vichar then in this material world that kind of liberty and that is actually not at all liberty what it looks like liberty in this material world that if we are having that topmost vichar in that topmost uh, liberty that is actually a shadow of uh, bondage it is a hazy form of non uh, non bondage in this material world it's like that only when sachidanand bhakti no thakur when sachidanand bhagwan sorry when sachidanand may bhagwan we are doing the anugatya of sachidanand bhagwan when we will be doing when will become bhagwan's own person when will become bhagwan's own person when we are getting on to the lotus feet of bhagwan that we are becoming one's own bhagwan's own person then that is called true liberty that is called actual independence true liberty that is called so all those bonded jivas up till that point when they are, are doing anugraha of bhagwan when bonded jiva is actually just taking the anugraha of bhagwan when the bonded jiva up till that point when the bonded jiva up till that point he is actually doing the anugraha of bhagwan it means that bhagwan is coming in the form of pure guru vaishnav in front of us and and uh, coming in the form of shastras and uh, scriptures and in the form of teertha it is coming and in the form of shri vigra in the roop in the form of mahaprasadam bhagwan is coming in this material world in front of us in order to just protect us from this material bondage bhagwan's badham bhagwan's mahaprasadam Uh, shri vikrah parikar eternal portion everything all leela actually is just to protect us from this material world material maya bhagwan is just coming in this form in front of us in this uh, form and uh, apart from that nothing is there when up till that point that we are not doing anugrah of bhagwan up till that point we are not at all doing anugrah of bhagwan and we are not going on to that pathway of anugraha towards bhagwan and that kind of uh, the uh, rope of uh, kripa of bhagwan we are not at all holding that in our hand up till that point up till that point uh, to we, we can do seva up till that point our to do harinam is our actual seva those people who are thinking that uh, in this material world that in this material world those people who are thinking that this material world uh, in this material world we have lot of uh, name fame position lot of money position everything is there in front of us then what to think of that we can do anything what we want they are thinking like that they actually can't understand the actual point they don't know the actual point that it will become the cause of their bondage it will just become one kind of rope in uh, their neck in this material world 
दैट देर इज नो वन हु इज एक्चुअली निरपेक्ष दोज हु आर थिंकिंग दैम सेल्स दैट वी आर सावलंबी दे आर सेल्फ आई एम न्यूट्रल पर्सनैलिटी दे आर थिंकिंग आई एम सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट दे आर ऑलवेज थिंकिंग एक्चुअली बट इन एक्चुअल दे आर एक्चुअली ऑल विद फुल ऑफ बॉन्डेज दे आर नॉट एट ऑल फ्री ऑफ बॉन्डेज एंड those who are actually under the guidance of parmeshwar all the devotees of bhagwan those who are the eternal parshad of bhagwan those who are actually eternal parshad of bhagwan these people they are actually uh, actual independent they are actually independent actual liberty they have other other others don't have any kind of liberty so those those who are actually getting that actual liberty in their life that kind of actual liberty if you have that desire inside your heart it is just created then definitely we have to do the anugatya of pure guru vaishnav we just need to do that that is very much important because if that kind of uh, to just get to surrender onto lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav and just to do the anugatya of pure guru vaishnav it is equivalent to do the anugatya of bhagwan what does it mean it means that that is called liberty it means that those who are actually actual devotees those who are actual devotees they are actually all uh, liberal they are all getting actual liberty others are not at all independent at all others are not at all independent at all and this body made of stool and urine that uh, blood and flesh this stool and urine and blood and flesh body this uh, kind of sac what we can see we are in this body that made of stool and urine and uh, blood and sac that kind of uh, uh, sac in which we are actually getting bonded that we are thinking that this sac is actually thinking ourselves that this sac is everything for uh, this atma is our sac only we are thinking that that is why this so much problem actually is coming that this uh, sac of blood and flesh i am thinking that this is everything so that's why it is not at all possible to get out of the bondage so whatever be the case that chaturmasya yesterday i have already just told you ashad ponnamasyam athapi ba chaturmasso brata arambham kuriyad ka hai karkato sankrame athat asad means that asad month month of asad at the sukal dwadashi tithi kartik vrat that from the kartik vrat up till kartik vrat that chandramas this vrat uh, in order to follow that is very much important and those people some persons that that from the asad mas purnima from mag up till magi purnima they are following the chaturmasya vrat they are actually following this four months period of chaturmas and they are following that under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav and saurav uh, shravan kartik they are actually following that up till from shravan asad month and for the actual satisfaction of bhagwan it is all the rules and regulations written there and if we are actually just thinking other kind of thinkings then bhakti no thakur speaking in this case that you don't don't need to take this you don't need to do that definitely you just need to follow that thing it is definitely it is very much important to follow all these restrictions uh, rules and regulations you just need to follow that restrictions but what is the actual chaturmasya what is the actual uh, the topmost hidden uh, uh, reason for uh, chaturmasya it is to just get uh, the actual uh, all the bonded jeeva should get their uh, actual independence and liberty on the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav and bhagwan in for each and every jeeva they sh- should get feel attraction towards uh, bhagwan's lotus feet and guru vaishnav that is very much important that's why chaturmasya avrat is done it is very much important to follow those principles of chaturmasya that's why it is important a lot of uh, uh, lot of uh, vichar is there i have already told you in bangla katha as well lot of rules and regulations are there uh, in uh, but gurudev always used to speak and bhakti vinod tagore always used to speak that all in all rules and regulations what are made that all kind of rules and regulations of this material world one uh, vidhi and nished that is the topmost vidhi nished that is very much important of the scripture what is that smartam vishnu smartam vishnu bismartam no ja har vagat bhagwan all the time we just need to remember bhagwan har vagat bhagwan ko yaad 
दैट इज द विधि दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट विधि एंड डोंट फॉर गेट भगवान एट ऑल डोंट गेट हिज डिस रिमेम्बरेंस दैट इज द विषेद सो दिस विधि एंड निषेध जस्ट बाय गेटिंग इट इन टू द सेंटर यू जस्ट नीड टू थिंक लाइक दैट एस्पेशली द पॉइंट दैट श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एस्पेशली श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु Uh, used to do chaturmasya vrat and he has done the leela of uh, performing chaturmasya vrat whether he is bhagwan and if no vrat upvas etc is there for bhagwan but still shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu is actually staying in purushottam dham and with all the devotees actually is celebrating the four chaturmasya four months in order to celebrate that four months of chaturmas all the devotees actually coming from navadvip dham etc to uh, puri dham just to celebrate the four months with mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu all the time with full anand sagar he always used to just swim in the ocean of sagar anand and all the advait gosai all the devotees nitanand everyone used to just uh, swim in the ocean of uh, uh, anand with mahaprabhu because it is just a kind of uh, uh, Oh, just it is one kind of uh, reason that they are actually uh, doing doing drama. Just uh, they will be just staying with Bhagwan all the time, and in order to just stay in front of Bhagwan, this is one kind of uh, just drama they are actually putting in front of us. That they are actually just staying with Bhagwan all the in front of Bhagwan all the time. That is the actual rules and regulation. That I have done Kartik Vrat, I have done Chaturmas, I have done lot of fasting. This is not the actual thing. What is the actual meaning? What is the inner meaning of doing fasting? The actual meaning of doing fasting is to stay close to Bhagwan all the time. You just need to stay close to Bhagwan. So all the devotees, all the all the time, they know that Bhagwan is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagwan himself. Whether they will be staying in house or whether they are staying outside house. they all the time actually having this kind of conception in their mind that mahaprabhu all the time they is there inside their heart they all they are actually eternal parshad of gorang they are always used to stay with mahaprabhu all the time even for fraction of second also even for fraction of second also they don't want to uh, scatter themselves from bhagwan even for fraction of second that is called actual vrat upvas all those uh, vrat and fasting what you are doing that is the final goal that to remember bhagwan all the time that is the actual final goal of all the fasting what you are doing that to just get uh, just to get sharnagat on to lotus feet of bhagwan otherwise everything is useless you have done chaturmasya you have done kartik vras purushottam vrat everything you are following but bhakti you are not at all gaining no incremental uh, rise in your bhakti the nothing you are getting in your life only just by restriction giving restriction to you or you don't need to take this you don't need to take this kind of prasadam okay it is good you just you have to follow that that is uh, that is the thing but the top most important point what is actually required for chaturmasya is that how much uh, capable a person is that how much surrender he is onto lotus feet of krishna and guru vishnu that uh, in a form of katha bhagwan is there in front of us that is the actual rules and regulations to follow it is very much important to follow these kind of rules and regulation whatever kind of grains food that uh, you just don't need to take spinach in uh, the uh, first month and second month you don't need to take curd and third you don't need to take milk and amish you don't need to take uh, non veg food in the kartik month so amish means you don't need to take urad dal and uh, all kind of other things which are uh, tamsik and rasik you don't need to take ras malai kalai urad dal which are speaking urad dal is actually restricted not to eat in kartik and external people that amish means they are thinking that taking all non veg food everything they are taking onion garlic everything they are taking non veg they are taking all the time they are taking non veg so for them also this chaturmasya vras in order to follow that it is very much important for them just by following that chaturmasya they will be just uh, limiting themselves up till some limit and their craziness unstability uh, bhav what is there inside their that kind of independent bhav what will be having inside them that they are actually misusing that the independent liberty so by just by uh, doing this vrat they will be having control they will be limiting themselves up to the one point and definitely in the coming future they will be just uh, getting uh, open their own uh, pathway towards the actual mangal because uh, all the devotees actually used to come to purushottam dham all the four months with 
Mahaprabhu they always used to stay and all the time they used to do kirtan and Mahaprabhu himself also used to follow the Chaturmas. It's not like that when Mahaprabhu used to go to South India. There at that time also you can see that Mahaprabhu that has stayed in Sri Rangam. In Sri Rangam Khetra Mahaprabhu at that time when he just... Uh, uh, at the time of Kartik Vrat, all the time Chaturmasavrat up till Chaturmasavrat Mahaprabhu has used to stay in Sri Rangam. But that is rule and these rules and regulations are not at all uh, applicable for Bhagwan because he is Bhagwan himself. It is not at all applicable for Bhagwan, but still Bhagwan, in order to just uh, uh, put one example in front of us, one idealism that all those devotees at Vayat Goswami etc. all the actual eternal Pasha the Bhagwan at Vayat Goswami is Swayam Bhagwan himself Nityananda Vyagavari used to just follow Chatur Masyavrat Vav Mahaprabhu used to follow every Vrat they have followed like that in total what Mahaprabhu has told Yatarum Chatur Masyavrat they used to follow in total it is very important to follow Chatur Masyavrat someone actually speaking that Bhagwan Shri Krishna used to follow Chatur Masyavrat if someone questioning you it's such a foolish question they are asking. They haven't, uh, he actually hasn't uh, followed Chatur Masyavrat. Bhagavan Shri Krishna has followed Chatur Masyavrat. So the actual answer regarding this is that, that Bhagavan who has already spoken, Bhagavan Swayam actually has done Swayam Acharan of the thing what he is speaking. So in that way, if I will be speaking that Lalita Vishaki, they have done Ekadashi that day. So if this kind of question, this is actually foolish question. You can't do this question because this is not a question. If the, you'll be, he'll be doing Hari Bhajan like this, questioning like this, then he is a foolish person. If that Krishna, that is one and the same. Krishna, he is actually is coming in the form of Gorang Mahaprabhu and showing us at how to follow that same Lalita Shaki, that Vishaka Shaki, that Rupa Manjari, that Guna Manjari, all actually coming in this material world in front of us that all our guru work has just descended on this material world all they have just done kripa on us so that they can just establish one idealism in front of us so that they can just teach us that how to do bhakti that how to follow chaturmasya vrat ekadashi etc how you need to follow that what should be the rules and regulations and restrictions regarding that and if some person actually speaking that lalita vishaka uh, radharani has done ekadashi it is actually foolishness okay radharani has done ekadashi for the satisfaction of krishna but in order to just teach us that how to do that Yashoda Maya that it is not at all uh, uh, she has to do one lakh harinam and after that he has to feed Gopal it's not like that for Yashoda Maya it's not like that what you are thinking so just by Mahaprabhu by his own wish by and will he has just prayed to Sachi Mata that you just need to follow Ekad Shivrat Ekad Shivrat in order to follow for Sachi Mata it is not at all important she is actually eternal Parshat of Bhagwan. But Bhagwan, in order to just, uh, w- she always used to satisfy Bhagwan, uh, all actually fasting, etc. What is the actual reason to do all fasting, what we are doing? What is the actual target for that? What is that actual target? The, it is just to satisfy Bhagwan. That, that for Krishna, whatever you are actually leaving, externally you can see that all those Tyagi Baba, Dhuni Baba, taking fruit Baba, fruit Baba, some Baba, lot of Vairagya they are showing. But this Vairagya, it is just not even having one single pence or one rupee value. They don't have any kind of value at all. It is costless and valueless. When it will be value, full valuable and costful, when it is to done for the satisfaction of Bhagwan. You can follow the point. When it is definitely done 100% for the satisfaction of Bhagwan, then it is for the, then it will definitely satisfy Bhagwan. That's why Sarvam Bhattacharya has done Kirtan. And those in order to just teach us one example that Vairagya is Vidya. That Vairagya means that Krishna, that what, that in order to maintain our body, in order to do bhajan, so that we can just uh, uh, survive our body, that whatever uh, eating, sleeping, drinking, it is, is it uh, good? That whatever is actually required to maintain our body, that 100% material things you cannot quit when you are in this material body. 
when you are living in this material body up till that point when i am actually living in this material body 100 100% in order to leave uh, this um, material things is not at all body the 100% 100% material is not at all possible to live whether you are taking prasadam or sleeping drinking definitely the material things will be there because in this material body if you are actually just attaching one material thing with krishna krishna vishay that whatever actually is there in my life it is not at all possible to maintain my life without that in order to just maintain your life and just to in order to just satisfy bhagwan by the bhajan and by seva that kind of yukta varage you are applying and then that will not become a reason for bondage for him because just by living 100 100% to get out of the material things it is not at all possible definitely it will be there but if you are actually just reversing these things and for bhagwan and for the satisfaction of bhagwan all those things you are doing then definitely you will get yukta varage in that so that's why i have just discussed this point a lot of time in updesh upra updesh updesh amre that that time i was discussing this point that propad always used to speak that in gaudiya bhajan there are two shlokas in hari bhakti vilas also it is written there that these two shlokas what is this this is the actual uh, uh, treasure of hidden secret treasure of all the bhajan whether it is chaumasa or that is urja vrat or kartik vrat or purushottam vrat whatsoever vrat is there that is it on on the basis of these two shlokas what i am going to speak this is actually summarized on the basis of all these two shlokas what i'll be speaking this is on the basis of these two shlokas only what is that i have already told you a lot of time before that krishna bhagwan what is actually related to bhagwan if you can just uh, uh, put it in bhagwat seva all the time that is not at all material that to just throw that material things for that purpose that is actually foolishness so that's why you will be getting more and more uh, bondage you will be getting more and more bondage he is actually thinking that vairagya means bhakti are vairagya is different and bhakti is different and gyan uh, is different it looks like it is all the same but it's not the same but when bhakt when it is bhakti is there then gyan vairagya automatically will be there inside it uh, naturally it will be there uh, gyan bhakti gyan vairagya bhakti everything will be there but but vairagya is there then only bhakti is there it's not like that vairagya means that you just get out of the material things vairagya means the actual vairagya the actual what do you mean by vairagya actually just to get out of the material things that is the actual thing but there is one point that i have already just got out of the material things but there is one desire inside my heart that very pain i am feeling that i have just left these material things i haven't achieved that that will become dry vairagya for you if this desire is there that pain you are feeling you will not be getting any kind of uh, achievement in that you will not get successful because you are paining you are f- feeling pain inside your heart so that kind of material things if in order to just uh, remove kind to remove all those material things and uh, that pain is not at all going by just not doing those material uh, uh, things and that kind of prem nishta bhakti and that kind of seva mood that which are is there all the time inside our heart that kind of vairagya we need that vairagya that vairagya we are calling that yukta vairagya yukta vairagya that regarding this i have just be speaking shlok one shlok regarding this at the time of probhad that uh, gaudiya patrika at that time it was done there it was the in the front page there is one uh, at the just down down the gaudiya mission logo there one two shlokas are there this one is and another shlok is there that is a very nice shloka inside there is no asakti inside our heart but only just to do serve to serve bhagwan what is actually required 
that uh, no need don't need to take more just need to satisfy bhagwan that is yukta varaga and prabhupad always used to speak in hari katha this point what i am going to speak whether bhagwan already has spoken this point that bhagwan already has spoken this in katha to uddhav ji but prabhupad always used to speak this shloka bhakti siddhan saraswati ko swami whether in some vishay any vishay there should not be any uh, topmost attraction there it is just like you are becoming so much bitter no taste is coming that is also not and there is no detraction and attraction there is all one kind of balance is there whether inside in my life that for some li- for something i am getting a lot of tastelessness for one object it means that there is one object uh, there is one weakness for a particular object this whole material world and whole every each and every object uh, uh, is of is from bhagwan even on prostitute also you can't do any kind of heinous uh, uh, feeling you would, should not get at all that kind of negative bhav should not at all come for a prostitute if you some you are doing some uh, uh, establishing some negative bhav for a prostitute then definitely some weakness is there inside her so lot of examples are there regarding this i can just explain in front of you one person in gorya mission while he is staying in gorya mission if some grasti devotee there is a devotee of some of mat and he is a very nice his heart is very nice he always used to come with his child in his lap and with her wife he used to come to the mat you know he is that brahmachari we actually just by seeing the wife always used to just get angry on that particular person all speaking all wrong to that person and when at that news just went to prabhupa that prabhupa speaking that definitely he will not be staying in mat inside his heart that kama is there so that's why he is actually doing like that so what is the actual uh, thing the what uh, prabhupada actually speaking the, the, he uh, definitely that came true and he just get out of the mat very soon he just uh, get lost from the mat there is no it, attraction for a particular object there is not too much attraction for a particular object and there is no too much attraction and there is no too much heinous bhav is there no negative bhav is there that kind of situation or balance who is getting that in this life that for that person only that vairagya is uh, applicable bhagwan or uh, actually speaking to uddhav ji maharaj and prabhupad always used to speak this point whether you don't have any detestfulness de- 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 and uh, you don't have too much attraction for that that is called yukta varaga that is the topmost thing bhakti yog you have to do under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav that is the topmost thing that what is actually related to krishna that what is related to krishna that object what is related to krishna in order with the, that all those tyagi babas that they actually just want to show their actual tyag they are actually just showing it in front of us. that i have already left that what you have left what you have left that is definitely inside your heart that material desire is there that externally you have just left it so what is the use in that bhagwan actually speaking you see that those persons who are externally have just left uh, this uh, material things material desires they are just uh, making a show of that and in t- inside their heart they are all the time thinking of material things this is very very dangerous that is a topmost dangerous thing that is a topmost dangerous situation the externally they have just taken acharya they have become acharya very big name fame position there but inside they are actually feeling desire uh, material desires that is topmost dangerous very very dangerous and the number of such devotees increasing in alarming rate number of such devotees having no vairagya inside on the exhibition number of such devotees increasing in our devotional society an alarming rate very alarming by this in this whole material world that all instability is actually created this whole material world is actually this uh, kind of negative thing is just spreading and bhagwan actually speaking in regards to this karmendriyani samyammu yo aste manasa smaran indiya thano vimuratma mithya cha 
वॉट भगवान स्पीकिंग भगवान एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग इन गीता नो दिस पॉइंट Externally, whatever uh, our material sense organs are there, you just need to control that. It looks like from externally that he is a very nice, very peaceful person, very actually topmost Vairagi is, very peaceful, a topmost Brahmachari is. But Mahaprabhu actually speaking, no, that Raghunath Das Goswami just in putting Raghunath Das Goswami in front of us as an idealism, he is actually just uh, uh, putting a very strict uh, rules and regulation in front of uh, Raghunath Das Goswami. What Ma- Mahaprabhu speaking? Just like monkeys, don't do Vairagya, don't do exhibition of Vairagya like that, like that of monkeys in front of me. Whatever is required in order to maintain your body, okay, you can take that just for the satisfaction of Bhagwan as a form of prasadam of Bhagwan. You just need to take that in in order to maintain your body. On uh, any kind of uh, wealth, name, fame, position, don't you should not have any kind of greediness towards that. Maybe from the last four years, I actually I don't have any time to go to Braj the Braj Mandal Parikrama. Before I was always used to go. After Falen Gaon, I just left Falen Gaon, and I just went uh, to that place, that uh, way, to that pathway of uh, Braj Mandal Parikrama. I just went there, and I always uh, and just used to uh, uh, reach Shedgar at that point. In between, one village actually is uh, there, Falen Falen village. And there is one Baba of uh, Nibark Sampradaya. He is a very nice Baba. And actually, he is actually, whether he is dead or whether he is alive, I don't know now. I actually just went to that Baba and Baba just giving me a very nice welcome and giving me a seat. Even up till this point that all Baba actually, the Baba giving me the my his own bed, his own room. No, no, you just need to stay here, Baba speaking. I speaking that how I can just stay at your, uh, I can just uh, sleep in your uh, bed it is not at all possible for me i am speaking to him okay again and again he is actually speaking to me that you just need to sleep here oh, maybe only one night you are there you, you can sleep on the bed but still after that what happened he has given prasadam and everything to me and uh, at the time when i was leaving the mat he actually just uh, giving respect on to my lotus feet and just giving pranami i actually strictly told that i will not at all take pranami no 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 you have to take you are doing parikrama maharaj definitely you have to take and like this kind of rules and regulations definitely should be there one acharya he is actually doing the role of acharya he don't and have a name fame position but still his heart is very clear so much topmost heart he has that you can't even imagine that i am speaking that pranami definitely you should take but that greediness should not be there in your heart that for greediness towards pranami should not be there that is actual rules you have to take pranami but greediness should not be there if you i do don't have any greediness you can take you will be uh, using it for seva so what i can do she lavaman goswami maharaj always used to do like that um, the forcefully some person actually giving pranami to him and some devotee giving to maharaj uh, maharaj actually i am not at all giving to you internally that person speaking i am not at all giving to you why actually becoming uh, so angry it is actually not given to you it is actually i have given it for seva okay you just give it to for bhagwat seva so like this she lavaman goswami maharaj always used to take pranami like that so actually topmost uh, bhav very nice hidden bhav is there you just need to understand so like this in uh, if we'll be doing which are of uh, like raganuga bhajan like this so it is another place is inside our heart that topmost lust is there that is very much dangerous situation you just need to get out of that otherwise bhajan is very much impossible Externally, you can see that you have just control your material sense organs, and internally, you are all the time thinking of all the material desires. All the time, you are thinking that it just to do like that, you are doing like that. So it is very dangerous condition. Those people who are actually just doing drama of just uh, uh, making drama of, they have already controlled. They are showing in front of all the material people. 
that they have just uh, doing the drama of just controlling their material sense organs and internally inside their heart they are actually just uh, taking the respective uh, taste what is they are related to the material sense organs they are taking all the time they are actually mithyachar they are all false they are number one fraudster you just need to be careful about them this kind of mithyachar fraudsters that is called actually fraud fraudster or they are kind of the top most uh, fraudsters they are and so that's why under the guidance of mahaprabhu that uh, our saraswat god is sampradha there is actually one rules and regulations what mahaprabhu has taught us mahaprabhu actually just uh, taught to raghunath das goswami raghunath das goswami in front of us he is giving this kind of idealism and giving rules and regulations to in front of us that don't do vairagya like monkeys that externally you can see the monkey so much vairagya he is that top most vairagya he is externally and inside you that he will be taking a spectacles everything he will be taking he is planning to take everything and he is vairagi baba you see it, it is just a case like that so that's why mahaprabhu used to speak that in order to just show people you are showing vairagya it don't need to do that whatever actually is required to maintain your body that you just need to take that don't take too much you just need to made a balance between this just to take, have a sakti for that it is very much difficult that our that uh, what is our actual uh, uh, thing for bondage something persons are thinking that this or the opposite thing they are speaking then material things are the actual reason for our bondage material things are not at all the bondage actual reason for our bondage that in all the four direction we can find material things that very nice attractive hari katha sankirtan is going and every living and every food prasadam everything is that this is not the reason for our bondage the persons the jeevas are having the persons are having different kind of uh, conception but this material things are not at all the bondage for us the actual bondage is our desire asakti so that's why janak maharaj always used to stay in all these material things that material things can't do anything to that topmost devotee janak maharaj he is a so topmost devotee janak maharaj he is a raj rishi and just staying in this material world also ambrish maharaj ji has no attraction at all for these material things still he is staying in this material things sirila yudhishthir maharaj i'll be actually discussing in front of you regarding that topic i'll definitely show you practically that inside yudhishthir maharaj there is no attraction for material things but still why in rajshur what is the actual use of doing rajshur yag gets etc the only for the satisfaction of krishna they are doing that yudhishthir maharaj ji in his whole life whatever he has done it is all for the satisfaction of krishna it is just for the complete satisfaction of krishna you can understand what i am speaking some he has done uh, from his own uh, things out of his own uh, he hasn't done anything out of his own uh, uh, ego if the rajshuri yagi is there or is shir shir bhushan that he has krishna has given the shir bhushan uh, crown on his head but still he is not at all having this kind of ego that i am doing that it is just for the satisfaction of krishna he is wearing that crown so it's actually written there that i don't need any kind of heaven or rather i don't need i don't need uh, the crown ship and king ship of the rasatal i just need the lotus feet of krishna so parikshit maharaj also that from all the four directions is actually just uh, getting uh, spreaded all the material things are spreaded in all the four directions but uh, inside the heart that viragya is there ambrish maharaj and if uh, opposite thing will and that externally viragya is there but inside there, there is exhibition of viragya externally but inside there is actually desire for material things then definitely it will become market viragya it will just like monkeys you will be doing viragya all the time you will be just doing like that in gita also bhagwan speaking the same point देहोधारी जीव्स 
those who have the, all these jivas who have taken this material body that externally they can just leave vishay externally but inside their heart it is very much difficult for them to just uh, leave uh, this kind of asakti he is actually old person even 90 years cross he is and i was actually surprised to see this thing that he is uh, age is 90 years and practically i have seen this point so much lust and kama is there and externally all the people are actually worshiping him actually is very old person and inter- internal internally there is so much a sakti he can't eat fish meat but still that kind of greediness is there to eat chicken that kind of meat eating propensity is there inside his heart to do but he can't eat because his body is not allowing so that is the actual condition what to do so that kind of material things are not at all bondage for me the material things are not at all bondage for me the actual uh, reason for my bondage is my asakti my desire that is the actual bondage for me especially prabhupad that prabhupad ji is radha nugatya have already discussed very long time before at the time of corona that the radha dasya prabhupad that shila prabhupad radha dasya the prabhupad uh, that is very much uh, surprising to see that kind of behavior of prabhupad we can see so much actually in the vichar of prabhupad we can see the distinction what is actually is for what for what purpose it is just for radha dasya it is for radha it is the expression of radha dasya that is the actual expression of radha dasya what prabhupad is actually exhibiting in front of us externally we can see is all material but this is the actual exhibition of radha dasya in front of us what prabhupad has shown this is the actual idealism what prabhupad is showing that is the actual radha dasya what of prabhupad i am actually speaking in front of you internally that kind of material things are not at all going from your heart from all the four directions you are attracted towards the material things from all the four directions you are actually feeling attracted that beautiful ladies are there in foreign you have so many position name fame everything is there externally and externally they are showing the drama of rupanu bhajan in front of us you see they are just showing the drama of rupanu bhajan in front of us externally internally that uh, they have this kind of desire that i should be my lotus feet should be my feet should be washed and all those brajwasi maya they just need to just serve my lotus feet with their hairs this kind of uh, desire they have inside so big mahatma he has become fraudster number 1 even he has just uh, crossed to prabhupad bhakti vinod thakur gurudev so big mahatma is you see he want to become more than his gurudev no one can be more than him big fraudster all actually cheating propensity this is automatically it is uh, done that you can see bhagwan shri krishna speaking here that externally you are actually making a drama of uh, that enjoyment of rasa you are uh, actually just uh, uh, <coughs> neglecting that but but at that time that topmost uh, param vastu you will be object you will be getting the topmost darshan of that uh, param vastu when you will be getting the darshan of that param vastu that absolute object of attraction you will be getting darshan when we can attraction when we can feel attraction for the for the for the object of absolute attraction that is bhagwan and at that point automatically there is no, no need of doing fighting for these things automatically you will gonna uh, leave that automatically it, you will leave that so what mahaprabhu has told this mahaprabhu has told that those who are uh, taking this body material body though all those jivas that they are actually just uh, getting sensual enjoyments by their they can get lost in this sensual enjoyments 
एक्सटर्नल दे आर एग्जिबिटिंग दैट दे हैव जस्ट कॉन कॉट दैट बट इन साइड दैट डिज़ायर आसक्ति इज देयर बट एट बट एक्चुअली दिस इज ऑफ नो यूज इट इज वैल्यूलेस वॉट दे आर शोइंग ऑल दो चीवाज दे कैनॉट गेट कंप्लीटली गेट आउट ऑफ दे कैन गेट फार अवे फ्रॉम दिस मटीरियल थिंग्स बट इन साइड देयर हार्ट दैट आसक्ति वॉट इज देयर इन साइड है इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट गेट रिड ऑफ देयर सेंस ऑर्गन फ्राम द इन फ्राम दैट आसक्ति इट इज़ वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू गेट आउट दो इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट गेट रिड ऑफ दिस आसक्ति वॉट इज देयर इन साइड देयर हार्ट वॉट इज रिस्पेक्टिव सेंस ऑर्गन दैट काइंड ऑफ द टंग इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट ग्रीडीनेस टू टेक रस मलाई आवर एयर्स जस्ट वॉन्ट टू हेयर हिंदी सॉन्ग्स दैट काइंड ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस इज देयर material songs we want to hear this kind of desire and by our skin just in order to have touch with the girls and ladies this kind of the respective sense organs that can by drinking wine this the very very nice scent essence and fragrance you are actually just applying on your body with the uh, taste of touch touch and smell when that topmost param vastu you will be doing the darshan at that time automatically your material things will just get destroyed what rup go swami pad has told and uh, just to do do rup anu bhajan of uh, rup rup go swami pad and you are not at all actually following the actual uh, siddhant vichar of rup go swami then what is the use then what is the use of that is called rup anu bhajan no this is called cheating when shila rupa swami pad on his own he is speaking this point in front of us when shila rupa swami pad speaking this point that uh, krishna he that krishna should just uh, catch me in one uh, in one uh, cage and from all the four directions the fire should get burned so that my body should get burned it is good it is actually acceptable for me but still the association of a material person you do kripa on me so that i should not do associate with the material person at all in order to just associate with material person i don't want to get associate with material person i don't it is not at all acceptable for me oh bhagwan it is not at all acceptable for me to just uh, do the association of a material person so you just bless me for that so that i can can't do any association for a material person towards material person you actually just need to uh, put fire in all the four direction and put me in one cage but it is still possible uh, acceptable for me but thakur ji don't give me the actual association of a material person not at all What actually is spoken here? In Bhakti Rasa Me Sindhu, he spoken. Bhuto baho jwala panjarantar bhavasthiti hi na sauri chinta bimuk jano sambas vaisha sam. Ham saan nahi kar sakta. I can't actually bear that. It's impossible. And in Vishnu Rahasya, uh, in that Granth, it is all written. that in fire in order to just get into the fire and just uh, leave your body it's more good but this association towards material persons is the top most dangerous situation in our life it's it's going to destroy everything and and after that in vishnu rahasra that granth it is written in vishnu rahasya in rasamrit sindhu in bhakti rasamrit sindhu shila rup go swami pad just giving one quotation of vishnu rahasya that tiger that tiger should just uh, that snake tiger that kumer i just want to just uh, give a hug to them just want to embrace the tiger snake and the kumer you just give me that with kumer you have i will embrace and with tiger and with snake i will embrace them even the snake that topmost poisonous snake also i will just uh, uh, embrace that but still bhagwan you don't give me the association of a non devotee 
the different different kind of those who are doing arajan of different different demigods that those material persons those material persons i should not get the association i should not get that association you do krishna oh krishna you give me kripa that i should not associate with them why because shriman mahaprabhu actually going to south india and when he actually used all all already mahaprabhu actually going to south india in the way mahaprabhu what actually speaking you know na mahaprabhu at the time of going to south india was mahaprabhu speaking there krishna ke sab krishna ke sab krishna ke sab bhai mam ram aur agav ram aur agav ram aur agav raksham kyun bhai ंग a loin and i'll with crocodile i'll be just embracing a crocodile i'll with a very poisonous snake i will be actually embracing him but it is very good oh krishna but this kind of mayavadi or those materialistic person i don't want to associate with them it's not at all acceptable that's why mahaprabhu in order to just uh, teach us he is actually speaking that oh ram oh ragav this mayavad what is there in all the four direction all smart brahmans those who are asur and demons just i don't want to get associate with them that i am that's why mahaprabhu speaking like this krishna ke sab krishna ke sab krishna ke sab pahi ma ram humko ye ram actually should uh, oh ram just save me from this asatsang and oh krishna you just uh, pick me up uh, my so that you i can get protected in my bhajan life so like this mahaprabhu actually just uh, praying in front of uh, krishna what is the reason so that uh, he can just establish one kind of idolism and we can practice that under the guidance of pure guru vaishnava and bhagwan gorang and uh, they they don't have any kind of idea regarding the actual bhajan pure bhajan they don't know they are actually just doing a, a satsang and i have seen they are doing a satsang also and they are doing a satsang also he is become very nice vaishnav oh maharaj is very nice why he is actually doing satsang as well as a satsang also or both the things are doing he has just made one balance no they are, he is actually balancing all the satsang and a satsang that's why his name actually just gets spread it all in all the four direction he is a very big vaishnav yes he is you can think like that but it's not the case like that so like this if we can making this kind of vichar then you can see actually that very it is very very dangerous prabhu goswami baat khud bhi batao khilaru goswami himself actually speaking this point in front of us a lot of time prabhu goswami baat has just told this point uh, even rasamri sindhu will be just discussing just by discussing that in rasamri sindhu i'll be discussing it in front of you this point and uh, in chaitanya chaitamrit also it is written there when i am actually just taking the i am just thinking of the lotus feet of uh, krishna and from that point that kind of uh, woman association and if that uh, that uh, wish is desire actually coming inside my heart to do woman association then this kind of very pain is coming and i am feeling very much uh, painful that ho oh, ho oh, my god how i can do this kind of association yes it is for women men are actually a satsang and for uh, men women are uh, a satsang so this kind of uh, association for both the males and females so that's why rupa swami was speaking this example in front of us that's why maru rupa swami was speaking krishna padar vind navan varasat dhyam arantu maashi tadavati pato bado anadi sangame smarjamane From that day, my heart is actually getting attracted towards the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, and it is just getting attracted to the lotus feet of Krishna from that day. When my heart, up till that point, is all the time used to just uh, always want to get attracted towards uh, Sri Krishna lotus feet all the time. at from that time from that point if someone actually thinking of the material thing he want to just uh, he wanted 
he uh, some kind of uh, asakti is coming towards material thing then that very uh, tasteless bhav actually coming very negative very painful condition of my heart just comes i am feeling tasteless and i am actually thinking oh my god so bad it is like i have just i haven't got out of the attraction of material things so how i can do hari bhajan you can see just leave this all ravagaru rupanu ko bhajan this is all actually one kind of drama attraction definitely first you just me come to naked you just need to just leave everything shila sant ko swami used to speak this point that okay you can send him i'll just make him gopi overnight gopi i'll make just send me just send him to him to me all actually foolish number 1 fraudsters just by with the chappal sant ko swami used to beat them and i will make them gopi like that so like in like this you see this is the case so actually there is no uh, uh, no solution that all the four direction there is uh, the whole atmosphere become so toxic and it has become so poisonous that in all the material world that kind of actual shuddha bhakti in order to get that is very much difficult no one will actually accept that at all only mahaprabhu ji has told that someone will be there definitely someone will be there even one person will be there okay then it is okay so this is the actual vichar of prabhupad mahaprabhu actually speaking the same point that top most burden i have taken and i have to take with me then okay i will be giving it like that only to you that prema so okay okay i'll give it to you like that mahaprabhu actually speaking this that top most sack of prema i have just taken up till this point to and okay i have to take it back or i will take it uh, i will be giving it anyhow like that only to you free of cost oh he is not at all eligible to take prema okay still uh, mahaprabhu has just given him the eligibility to take prema okay okay i will be giving you that so much actually prema i have taken and so much burden i have given and i will be taking that okay okay i will be just giving you it very cheaply mahaprabhu speaking and if we are actually just imitating mahaprabhu then the opposite will happen if actually speaking that mahaprabhu actually has just distributed very cheaply so i will also do the same thing that i will be just get fall down by the actual uh, association of mahaprabhu that kind of total surprising thing has happened mahaprabhu that so much uh, kind of ashcharya bhav is there surprising bhav is there it is just like by taking that darshan of surprising me automatically we will just get the kripa mahaprabhu has just given the kripa of to one vipra and after that same vipra has just given the kripa to all the 1000 devotees this is just kind of multiple way of preaching multiple chain reaction this is the actual multiple reaction chain the 2 to 4 4 to 16 devotees and after 16 to after the multiple reaction is going on like that in chain so that is the actual ashray of mahaprabhu what he has shown in front of us that is a very surprising thing what mahaprabhu has shown us like we can just hear the swarup gosaim kharcha and our uh, that murari gupta kharcha and ragunath uh, that note is there ragunath ji has just given the note all this kind of vichar is actually there all the time that what that from rai ramanand everything they have collected and after that we can think that where mahaprabhu has done what what things otherwise detail information is very much difficult to get in front of us one actually person he has given to prem and he is just like a, a mad person is doing a, a kirtan with prem and he has just given it to 10 more people and that people also gain sharing that to other people but if you will be doing uh, imitating that then definitely your fall down is 100% so that is a special case what narad nautam tapur is already speaking in the kirtan so surprising is there some person uh, they are just getting a fraction of second their prema they are getting prema yes they are getting by the kripa of mahaprabhu if that kind of vichar of narottam tagore it is wrong it is opposite then why narottam tagore actually speaking how he can speak like this this narottam tagore ji has told in front of us that that in sadhan bhajan leela you should not uh, do any kind of nonsense that with full attention and anugatya and carefulness you just need to under full anugatya you just need to accept that 
that by body speech and mind you just need to control that you just need to harmonize that for bhagwat seva shushar means shushar is a bengali word shushar means that actual solution are kaim an virake all actually all rubbish things go in it is all actually by body speech and mind you just need to get uh, allocated onto the lotus feet of pure guru vaishnav and we just need to harmonize with the actual vichar of pure guru vaishnav and with uh, by the grip of nitanand prabhu we just need to do hari bhajan if inside our heart some kind of doubts and uh, logical arguments are coming and some suspicion and doubts are coming then then with the uh, it will become very much heavy for us if we just need to uh, sacrifice then it is very dangerous so so we just need to find the actual solution so very lo- nice which are actually is there so what to do in that nobody actually wants to hear this which are what to do all persons want that that is uh, slow uh, fastly they can become gopi in their life so this kind of which are actually each and every whole material world is going on in that so we are actually want to go and we are actually we have to dump ourselves there is actually no solution to this on all four direction it's like that so what to do now actually this chaumasa vishaya that kartik vrata each and everything that so much rules and regulations are there so much rules are there that bhagwan has and in the form of vrata he is coming and i have already told this point uh, one to one one and a half hours before that bhagwan he is actually coming in the form of pure guru vishnu in front of us that in the form of uh, shastra and pranth uh, and in the form of dhama in the form of naam in the form of shri vigrah in the form of shri prasadam Mah- 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 bhagwan is coming in front of us whatever uh, fast upavas uh, rules regulations uh, vidhi nishedh whatever is there what bhagwan has established it is uh, shastra vichar is bhagwan himself only the actual vichar of shastra is bhagwan himself only so that's why this kind of vichar actually going on and by this kind of actual uh, rules and regulations of uh, shastra if you are falling under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav that uh, this kartik vrat or chatur chomasa vrat or purushottam vrat if we are following that ekadashi etc vrat under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav if we are following then uh, with a very uh, nice allocation maybe today or tomorrow definitely we gonna Uh, get out of this material world and we can get the lotus feet of bhagwan that life definitely you will get if i am speaking that i am not i'll not be able to follow ch- chaturmas then you actually have just uh, uh, kicked on bhagwan because to do vrat is equivalent to bhagwan like the say that in purushottam vrat that bhagwan speaking that i am swayam purushottam to damodar vrat is also swayam bhagwan only so in this vrat this kirtan is just very much uh, important to do kirtan yam kirtan okay you just leave if someone actually have this kind of uh, capacity to do he can do or those who have very less capacity all the time they just need to hear hari kata kirtan those who have adhikar they can do they can do yam kirtan okay no worries but that should also be under the guidance of pure guru vishnu because we don't have any adhikar so that's why we are actually hearing non stop hari kata kirtan if we are hearing and that kind of uh, uh, ruchi for uh, hari naam then i will become the top most uh, uh, wealthy person if i am getting the actual ruchi in hari naam all the time then apart from that i need nothing in my life all the time the everything automatically will be done so no problem will be there everything will be rectified so in this kartik vrat if uh, some vishay person if some vishay person material person at least from kar- in this kartik vrat he is following the rules and regulation and has just uh, left all the material things and he is just hearing uh, hari kata kirtan and he has just left all the material things in this kartik vrat uh, just to get the actual consciousness towards bhagwan in order to satisfy bhagwan definitely he will also get the actual sukriti in his life regarding bhagwan mahaprabhu ji already told to raghunath das goswami 
কথা না শুনিবে গান বার্তা না কইবে ভালো না খাইবে আর ভালো না করিবে হরিকথা just to get bhagwan in order to get bhagwan first thing you just need to do is you just need to get out of an earth at the, at the time when you have an earth inside you then it is not possible to get out of the material thing if i'll be having an earth then i will get everything in my life like naraji maharaj maharaj the childhood life of naraji maharaj there naraji maharaj there naraji maharaj that uh, he has done sadhu sang and he is a very small boy he has just came in front of very big pond and and bhagwan ne bhagwan have just given a fraction of second darshan just for a fraction of second he has given darshan to naraji maharaj and naraji maharaj started crying oh to krishna you just need to give me darshan and there actually the one uh, voice came from the clouds what actually it came that those that inside their heart that kind of kashay that marking for material things are there that they don't have any material things it's almost like material things are already gone but still a, a, a marking trace of uh, kama is there but still i will not give you darshan at that point as well bhagwan speaking what actually just uh, a voice came from the uh, from the sky that that they have actually even a trace of uh, uh, marking is there inside their heart for kama that a sakti is there gajendra ji maharaj actually speaking yet yoga randit kasai that is yoga randit kasai Gajendra ji already told this part and Naraji Maharaj actually speaking he has just got from the voice from the air from the sky it is came what actually it is written, written there that that kasai that topmost they are actually not it is incomplete there is no solution the, the solution is actually incomplete it is still in a temporary phase that kashay that trace hasn't gone yet from the heart that i am actually it will not become the actual action or uh, actual pathway for darshan for them it means kuyogi means that those who are anugatya gin those are without anugatya they have just making an exhibition or drama of doing hari bhajan under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav they are just doing a drama they are kuyogi kuyogi means they are not at all yogi yogi means that bhakti yogi here actually we are actually granting here because it is not it is not possible for them so that's why previously shila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur propat shila bhakti vinod thakur shila keshav goswami mara shila bhavan goswami mara under rajiv goswami mara rup goswami pat under their anugatya first we need to just need to remove the material uh, asakti and in this kartik vrat only that is very small overall discussion of rag vatan chandrika that how we just need to get established in rag bhajan and how we can get the actual treasure of uh, prema so like this and how it, it can be possible there is some rules and regulations regarding that we need to follow shila vishna chakravarti pad has just told us in a very nice and honest manner so that simply we can just understand under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav what it is yes tomorrow i will be just doing the introductory speech both 
शीला प्रेम विवर्त एंड श्री राग पत्र में चंद्रिका बोथ आई एल जस्ट बी स्पीकिंग द इंट्रोडक्टरी स्पीच टुमारो नाउ आई हैव जस्ट डन द जनरल डिस्कशन टुडे एंड टुमारो आई एल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट आई एल बी जस्ट स्पीकिंग द इंट्रोडक्टरी स्पीच एंड ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल स्टार्ट बाय द कृपा ऑफ भगवान अप टिल दिस पॉइंट आई एल बी जस्ट गिविंग रेस्ट अप टिल दिस पॉइंट टुमारो इफ कृष्णा वॉन्ट्स एंड डेफिनेटली आई कैन डू द सेम टुमारो अमेदपूर्ण एक में कीच संकुले स्वभाव दीर्गंदीतांतरे कले वरे मुत्रिपुरीश भाविते रमंती मोरा विरमंती पंडिता वाच कल्पद्रवश्य के पासिंद भविष्य पतितान पावन भो वैष्णव्यो नमो नमः